We are about to get started with the awards portion of the 2013 Beat Awards, which is part of the reason we are, that's right, that's right, Brianna, that's right, get the clap started, which is part of the reason why this is the hottest ticket in town. We could have sold another three or 400 tickets easily between yesterday and today if we had had them. We've been saying for several weeks now that we expected the show to sell out. To sell out simply because how could it not when you are celebrating each other, celebrating people in our community, people that look just like you and me. The first award will be presented by Paul Allen Billings, who is the CEO and founder of WUVS LP 103.7 The Beat Radio, who is the visionary behind tonight's event. Paul Allen Billings, show him some love. First of all, thank you, Muskegon, uh, for coming out. This is. Somebody better lead it. Everybody say, we love you, Doris Rux. Doctor, thank you, Dr. Doris Rux. Andrew Tresca. Experience, trustworthiness, advising, honest, and unselfish for best mentor are Willie Wilson. Arthur Duran. And Kevin Cummings. Thank you guys so much, uh, PA. Uh, um, other than uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, the most important person in my life is my wonderful wife of 27 years. I want to thank the community for voting for me. Uh, I don't have a lot to say, but the one thing that I try to do, I've been in education for 30 years. And I have one motto my entire life, and that is, you're only a blessing to be a blessing to. God has blessed me uh, with a wonderful life. So what I try to do is everybody that ever come in contact with me, 
I want their life to be better because they came in contact with me. So I try to uh, be a mentor in every way possible. Whatever I have an opportunity to do, whatever I can do to touch a life, I try to touch that life in a positive way. Uh, and it's very evident uh, in the community, uh, and I know how much work he does uh, in this day and time with our young people. So I just want to give him a big shout out. I don't have to give a big shout out to Kevin Country. Everybody knows Kevin. You know, he is the man. But thank you guys so very much. I appreciate everything, and thanks again. I'd just like to make an acknowledgement. Everybody look over there in that corner, the lady, the most beautiful woman in the room in that gold dress. She is here, and she is uh, Cecilia Covington. And... Uh, She's as good as it gets. <clears throat> Here to present student of the uh, Kenny Montana said he's taking it, that centerpiece home. <laughs> Here to present the student of the year. Are those reading glasses? I just they just give them to me and I just read them as they give them to me. <clears throat> Best coach, thank you for reading that program. Everybody give it up for our photographer tonight, Mr. Walter Watt. Thank you, Walter. If you would like pictures of tonight's event, make sure you see Walter. If you didn't do the red carpet, you might want to do that as well. Was the red carpet all right? little red carpet here in Muskegon. Uh, best coach being presented by, that award being presented by Elder Robert Billings, not the first, not the second, but the third. Robert Billings, the third. Good evening. <laughs> best coach award. A good coach not only teaches you the X and O's of sport, but also helps to teach you the X and O's of life. And these three nominees are no exception to that. Three nominees are... Keith Guy. Delrique Stewart. And our very own Lee Gibbard. And the winner is Robert Billings. Uh, and the winner is my boy Darika Stewart. say thank you for everyone that voted for me. To have any kind of award is special, but to receive awards from your friends and family is extra special. So thank you. I'd like to also give some recognition. House. <laughs> thank you. Let me ask this table right here. What's the next next award? I just want to be sure. Thank you, student of the year. Thank you. They keep me on my on my toes. Here to represent uh, Muskegon Community College is Dr. Dell Nesbury, the president. Well, ladies and gentlemen, an evening like this is is very important. It's very important to recognize the young people. Before we do that, I'd like to have another round of applause for Dr. Doris Rush. Yeah. 
because people, despite it's because people like Dr. Lux um, are the reason why we are here today. And, I, and it's funny, I'm usually not very nervous when I speak, but with someone like Dr. Lux uh, speaking before me and being recognized, this um, it's just an honor. It, it gets to me. But on, for our students. <laughs> tonight, but you are all winners because you have represented God. Come on, somebody. <laughs> to the churches that participated, Holy Trinity Church of God in Christ. Yeah, you can clap your hands. Mount Zion Church of God in Christ. <laughs> Just grateful right now, I guess. Um, words cannot express. The, uh, the gratitude that we share. Um, on behalf of Bishop Williams, who is my father and my mentor and my pastor and the Church of the Living God family as a whole, um, we thank you to Paul Billings and to 103.7 to John Covington and Therese. Um, our purpose is one of every Sunday morning, our job as choirs and as ministers and as praise and worship teams and leaders and etc., is to lay the groundwork for the word of God. And that's our assignment every week. It's not always an easy assignment, but because of God's grace and, uh, and his mercy. Bennett and Mount Zion Church of God in Christ, we honor you all. Thank you so much. I would like to take this time, if I could, to uh, acknowledge the band. Everybody say, what's up, band? They've been doing a thing. I would like to start out by uh, introducing Reggie Porter, who is uh, on auxiliaries. Drums. Let's hear from Jonathan Johnson. Let's hear a little something, Jonathan Johnson. Let us hear you. Give it up for Jonathan Johnson on drums. Dr. Dale Bell. Show us what you got, Dale Bell. Give it up for Dr. Dale Bell. And on key immediate left, Gerald Pebbleton. Let us hear you.
Show some love to Gerald Pimpleton. Award for the 2013 Beat Awards, and that is being presented by the beautiful Angie Savage, whose hair is always right. One more thing, um, I'd like to thank John Covington, 103.7 The Beat, and my table. We turned up. I might need to translate what turned up means for some of the audience. I learned a long time ago never to assume everyone knows uh, the uh, terminology of this uh, 21st century. <clears throat> I would like to bring uh, Paul Allen up, and uh, just for a moment, he is going to, he's going to have some words as it relates to uh, Muskegon Family Care, and I'm going to also ask the CEO, Sheila Bridges, if she would come on up at this time as well. Even though uh, Muskegon Family Care, they're not getting an award tonight, but I just wanted to take this time to, oh, okay, acknowledge, to acknowledge the work of Sheila Bridges and Muskegon Family Care, uh, one of the largest employers of African Americans uh, in the county, and they're expanding. Do we, do we got the video? Yeah, video. They're expanding. Um, they're going to have... Uh, uh, Sheila can best describe it, but they they begin to work out facility, a health club. They expand it for underprivileged, and it will be affordable. And I, I don't think she get enough you know, respect in the community what she been able to do at Muskegon Family Care. People, a lot of people might not know that at one time they was not uh, at the level they were now. They were struggling, and under Sheila uh, leadership, she came in and and cleaned it out. And, and they have a surplus. 
under this sister right here. Um, she brought in uh, some celebrities for a celebrity golfing. Uh, I had never seen so many celebrities in town under her leadership. And so I want to take the time and tell Sheila to stay encouraged and, and keep doing what she's doing. And y'all give her a round of applause. It's Sheila Bridges, CEO of Muskegon Family Care. Thank you, guys. We're committed to the city. We're committed to the city. How y'all doing? We're committed to the city of Muskegon Heights. We don't just say that in words, we say that in deed. Go orange and black. I said go orange and black. It's so good to see you, Senator Hansen. Senator Hansen visits our center all the time. It's just a blessing. You know, I grew up in the hood, so I understand um, what it is to be a success story, to be the person who said uh, you could never be, and you should never be, and you would never be. I understand that, so I encourage all of you to continue to dream. You can do whatever you want to do. Our city will embrace you. You can do whatever you want to do. So thank you to the board of directors. Thank you to 103.7 The Beat. Thank you to all of our patients. Thank you to my pastors. I see the savages over there. And just thank you to all of you. God bless you. The associate producer of the 2013 Beat Awards, Darius Mitchell, who is presenting the award for Best Barber. And I want to say Best Barber, along with, I don't know how many people knew, know this or not, but almost 50,000 votes as it relates to this year's Beat Awards. Almost 50,000 votes. And the Best Barber was one of the one of the three most highly contested races. So people take their, uh, their thing serious, I guess is what that means. Darius Mitchell. There's a few things that you should definitely have in life. That's a good church, a good pastor, a good wife, or a good husband, and last but not least, a good barber. They'll butter your beard, tighten up your taper, or they'll even freak your fade. But even if it's a recession outside, these three gentlemen will definitely still get paid. The nominees. Yancey Harris. And last but definitely not least, Ken Terrell. Yancey Harris. First, uh, once again, I'd like to thank the Lord. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, two of the tightest barbers in the world. One of them is my barber, <laughs> Kenny, Kenny the Moo. Top notch barber. Last but not least, Norris. One thing I got to say about Norris, Norris. He never hated. He always kept it, kept it 100. He's a, a very talented barber. Any time, I'm talking about top notch. And he got a lovely family too. I like his family too. And uh, I like to thank everybody for uh, voting for me. All my friends, family. Oh, tomorrow my birthday. And 103.7 to B. Thank you.
Oh, all right. Thank you. They're running out of energy at this table. Uh, not really. <clears throat> I think it was 1993 that longtime resident Joe Clifford went on home. I'm going to ask at this time that his wife, Laura Clifford, would come on up. Give her a hand. Everybody say, hey, Laura. And I'm also going to ask the Muskegon County Prosecutor and, and Brother DJ Hilson to come on up as well. We're going to watch a video uh, at this time. And uh, this next award that you see here is the Joe Clifford Heroes Award. Take a look at the video. Um, and I'm on the corner of Monroe and Fifth, and I'm saying, all right, come out, they got done. Please sit down. We just said, police, look right away. Monroe and Fifth. I just walked past the street, huh? Monroe and Fifth. Yes. How many people are out there? There's a lot of them out there, and they're arguing, and they got guns come up, too. Can you hear them? Can somebody? I just heard them talking about, I don't know if they got them or not. And they're arguing. I just know somebody's kids out there, and people, we out we let her know every day that we loved her. The wife brought in balloons. They would come and get Joe, and he would go and take care of their kids. So when this happened, it was just the way he would have did it. He wouldn't have did it no other way. We had just came from Atlanta, Georgia, and we had just got in bed. And all of a sudden, the girl across the street had two little sons. And we thought they would get run over by a car, because every time they saw my car come down the street, they would run and run across the street. And every time Joe would come home, they would run across the street. Evidently, she was sleeping in the living room, and, and we had, like I said, just come from Atlanta. So when she ran out to tell us about the, the fire, the, the dead boat lock. So Joe and the guy next door beat the door in. The guy next door didn't go in, but Joe Clifford, being who he was, he went in to save them. They died, and he died instantly. The kids died instantly. They was young, they were little kids. But he, he he was smoking a lady too, so he went to the hospital, and he stayed about a month, then he died. All people remember him by a wonderful husband, a wonderful father, and he was a helping neighborhood helper. He would get up on Saturday morning and go in the next block over where it was a bunch of single women, cut their grass, and talk to them all day long. They, he was like their husband. So it, it, everybody always say, you know, I know you miss Joe, but I miss him the most. He believed in doing the right thing, and if somebody needed help, helping anybody. He didn't care if they was black, white. He was a, a neighborhood helper and a, and a family helper. His whole family depended on him for help. A person that don't mind giving himself in order to, to save somebody else. That's how I looked at it. He would have he 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 did it no other way. He helped the neighborhood and, and he wouldn't have did it no other way. So I wasn't, uh, the girl thought I was angry with her, but I wasn't because that's the kind of person he was. I miss him, but you know what? I tell everybody, I said, I, I, he was my husband and he made a way for me to be the person I am today. So, rest in peace. The other video that uh, we didn't see, but it's okay, there was another video of uh, the 911 call that happened earlier this summer, and I'll just set it up very quickly for you. A young lady was minding her business. Uh, she wasn't even actually uh, supposed to be where she was at that particular time. She heard some commotion 
outside. She ran outside because she knew there were kids outside playing. And in the process of all that, trying to save the kids, she was shot in the head. Heroes Award, she survived. It was a miracle. Do you believe in miracles? Here to present the Heroes Award to a very unsuspecting young lady is Muskegon Prosecuting Attorney, D.J. Hilson. Uh, for that being an assistant prosecutor, uh, I've, I've come across many heroes in, in, in what I do. And what's interesting is I, I looked up the definition of hero tonight. It really isn't a set definition for a hero. But I do know this. I do know this, that a hero is someone that puts themselves or puts others before themselves. Always. And, and in this particular situation, uh, when I had a chance to review the reports, listen to the 911 tape, watch the video, and then hear about our winner's uh, surviving story, I, I can't think of a more deserving person uh, for this award tonight than Kamisha Rogers. She is, she is a true hero. She put herself before others, and thank God she survived. So it's with great honor and great pleasure that we, we present the Joe Clifford Heroes Award to Kamisha Rogers. After being shot in the head, you won't remember as much, but I have my memory. I can walk, I can talk. I'll just deal with any other mother would deal with. I had so many people in the ICU where other people was. I had so much support. It took me a while to talk. I had something in my neck. It stopped me from talking, but I could still write on paper, spell, joking on paper for my family and friends. Friends I ain't talked to in 10 years plus. It's coming up to see me, and I'm thinking, like, why am I here? My mom and my daddy finally told me. My mom just said, I took the mirror lately, I said, no. So I couldn't get out the bed. Every time I tried to get out the bed, I had an alarm on my bed. Because every time I tried to get up, I tried to leave. I'm like, I'm not supposed to be here. Well, thank you. I'm not supposed to be here, but I'm supposed to be here. But God. <laughs> thank him enough. everyone. Thank you so much. This made me appreciate life so much better. 
my kids. I got a three year old and a four year old. My son just turned three for this summer, May. Just kept saying, Mama, get up, you gotta come home. I couldn't do nothing. She kept saying, I love you. I couldn't say nothing. I had something in my neck. I still have this heart. It's hard waking up every morning. I don't have no hair. My hair would look just like this. My daughter come up to my hair and said, Mama, I'd rather. It don't hurt no more. Just tonight putting all this on, this glamorous stuff. I'm not materialistic. My son, three years old, and he is so smart. He said, Mama, you is beautiful. He said it the whole time. I'm like, okay, Daddy. I'm calling Daddy. He said, Mama, you beautiful. I said, thank you, Daddy. Okay, Daddy. All right. Okay. They made me appreciate them so much better. They are my blessings. Not just them, but my family that's around me constantly. Even when I don't want them there, like they want to help me walk. I can walk by myself. <laughs> They're still here. I have so many scars in my head. Just a couple of days ago, last week, pulling out stitches. I didn't even know that was in there. Just reading the report that they wrote, I still have bullet fragments in my head. But you, you would never tell that I was shot. I try not to relive that back, relive that over and forgetting about it. But kids still alive, I'm still up to my kids. I'm just continue. I'm continuing to be the person I am. I love all the kids. I did not expect this. I'm going to cry forever now. Why did y'all do this to me? You know, I was just joking around. Why did this to me for me? What we'd like to do, give her another round of applause. What we'd like to do, what we'd like to do is, when she said that she uh, had gotten a job at Herman Miller, that was prior to being shot. She, she lost her job. Her car was shot up completely. She's had difficulties finding what to do it. But if everybody in this room for six or seven months, let's say a year, how many people in this room would be willing to donate one dollar a month to assist Carmisha Rogers? Stand on your feet. One dollar. One dollar a month. One dollar. One dollar a month. One dollar a month from everybody in this room, and we can help change her life even more for the better. Is that all right? This is what I want you to do. We don't have the funds set up, but the, the, the email address is beatawards at gmail.com. That's easy enough, right? Send us an email. How many people utilize email? Raise your hand. Send us an email, beatawards at gmail.com. We will be responsible for setting up a fund for Carmisha Rogers, and she will get every single penny. If we commit to $1 a month, for 12 months, we can help her like we should. She belongs to us. She is ours. I got excited. There's one more special tribute for Miss Rogers, and it, it does me great pleasure to introduce this next person. He's a personal friend of mine. I got to know him. Uh sunlight on your face You were content to let me shine on with all the glory While you were 
the one with all the strength. A beautiful face without a name. A beautiful smile to hide the pain. Did you ever know that you might hear? Everything I would like to be And I can fly higher than the eagle You are the wind beneath my wings It might have appeared to go it all here in my heart and I want you to know the truth that I would be nothing without you oh, did you ever know that you might hear Everything I would like to be And I can fly higher than an eagle You are the wind beneath my wings Oh, to you What the hell am I going to put them in stitches for? Okay, Blue, look here. I've been waiting on Cadillac Blue. He's one of our DJs that do the local. Cadillac do the local talent. You know, he, they call in and say, I got a rap song or I 
got a song I want you to play on the radio. Cadillac said, no, you're going to do it live on the radio. So Cadillac gave him a chance to do it. But we worked together at the radio station. I've been waiting on an intro. How long is Cadillac? Almost a year, Ray J. You know, the nominees are Chris Mitchell. Gemini the Poet, and Glenn Chapman. And the winner is Ray J. You know? No, you ain't I, ain't got got that, do you? I ain't got nothing over here but Ray you J. You don't know then, do you? Uh, yeah. All right, best local entertainer is Gemini the Poet. <laughs> My nerves has been shot all night. First and foremost, I got to thank God because if you would have asked me 10 years what I do, what I do, I couldn't have told you I'd be on the stage. I lost my daughter to pertussis at 17, so this right here goes to my little girl in the sky of the future. So on the back of my shirt tonight, I decided to dedicate me, I couldn't dress up, Brown rolling with me. I have Dupree and a list of other young men who have fell victim to these streets. Because I continue and I will continue to be the voice of the voiceless and speak for the unspoken. And mommy, thank you for supporting me. <laughs> All right, two more awards. Here to, pre here to uh, present the award for most sophisticated lady. On 103.7 The Beat, she is Shelby Summer. Some of you know her also as Ellen Perry. Hey, how's everybody doing? I am having so much fun. And you know who I'm looking at. But one thing for sure, she is always classy. The nominees for Sophisticated Lady are Jesse Franklin, Kaya Thornton, and Siobhan Savage. And the winner is Siobhan
the ladies that were a part of my Kaya, my girl, we watch and pray. Amen. We watch and pray. Hallelujah. I thank God for all of you that are here. I thank God for my family and friends. I love me some Rodney Savage. I thank God for him being my hero, my cheerleader, my motivator, my confidant, my best friend. I love him to life. And it's just really good to have someone by your side and on your team that can celebrate with you and along with you. He is my champion, and I just thank God for him. I have been so nervous all night, but you all know that I like to have fun. I'm an easygoing person, and I was just so honored that you all voted for me. I am so appreciative. God bless you all. I hope you all have an excellent night. God bless. the evening five more minutes and we'll be we'll be done I understand that there is an afterglow across the street at smash which is in the lower level Would you all of the board members of WVS if you could stand please all of the board members of WVS if you could stand give them a big round of applause were it not for them this wouldn't be happening tonight thank you we appreciate you also thank you to our sponsors uh, once again, our premier sponsors who hopped on board, they had no idea what the Beat Awards would be all about. Hopefully, you've been satisfied. Thank you so much, and let's do it again next year. Also, thank you to our other sponsors, DTE Energy, Community Foundation, and who else am I, who am I missing? Frontier uh, Communications, our premier sponsor and they've got some specials going on that you will not believe. I won't go into it right now, but give them a call, check them out, Frontier.com. Frontier, is that it? Frontier.com. They beat Frontier Airlines to the website domain. <clears throat> also, everybody who participated in, in this event tonight, could you please stand? It was a lot of work. Anybody who did anything, all the young people, also, Bill Gill. Everybody say hello, Bill Gill. Bill Gill was in the house tonight. I see him walking out. Bill Gill, come on in and wave your hand, Bill Gill. Thanks to everybody who participated and putting on the Beat Awards. It's been a lot of work. Uh, some of us haven't been sleeping a couple of days, and I don't exaggerate that at all. <clears throat> the last award of the evening. Is Dr. Charles DeBose still in the building? He, he left. Dr. Charles DeBose was here. I was going to have him come on up and present this award. Our good friend Fonsworth Bentley had planned on being here tonight. And also he had planned on getting some Scribs pizza. And he was very specific about that. He shot a, a, a video just minutes prior to the show tonight. We cannot open the video. Uh, announcing the award for distinguished gentlemen, but he promises if we invite him back next to follow him or whatever and let him know that you were at the Beat Awards tonight and you were looking for him. He's a new host of Lift Every Voice on BET, and he uh, got called like literally at the in the 11th hour to fly to New York. So he's very disappointed that he could not be here. He was looking forward to it. That being said, I've been given the task to present the last award of the evening. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want one person over here to stand up, just do it on faith. One person over here, stand up. Yep, somebody right here, somebody right here. Somebody stand up right in here. All right, cool. I want you to, I'm going to start over here to my left. I just want you to yell out what you think of good looking. Thank you. Handsome. All right. Confident. All right. You young lady. <laughs> Loyalty and trust. Thank you. Those are things that we all would agree define what a distinguished gentleman represents, who he is. Do we agree with that? The nominees for the 2013 Most Distinguished Gentleman, the number one voted award category on BeatAwards.com with something like six thousand votes the number one category hence the reason it is the last category of the evening the nominees are Reginald Brown 
Stan Bishop Grisham, and Kevin Cummings. And the winner of the Most Distinguished Gentleman Award 2013 Beat Awards is... Yeah, we need a drum roll. Did I ever tell y'all about the time that... Stan Bishop Grisham, Jr. six-figure income for the last 10 years without having a college degree this man right here been shot seven times seven times he was shot this man right here was on Mason Street I appreciate my mom appreciate my sisters I appreciate Rob PA because PA been in my corner since I was a little boy you know, and a lot of y'all really don't know. I pre Kevin, come on up. Because Kevin is where style come from. I seen him wear a fur coat. Guess how many fur coats I own today? I own 10 fur coats today. So, you know, with that being said, you know, life is good for me. Life is good for both these gentlemen. You know, we done been through a lot. We young, and I say that y'all got to watch these young boys because I didn't try to talk to them, preach to them, but I ain't no preacher because I know what they're going through, but y'all don't understand it. And DJ Hilston, which is our prosecutor, and I consider you a friend through Brianna Scott, who's, a, who, you know, who's an attorney. Happy birthday, Brianna. You know, but DJ, I would say be lenient on these boys, but if they kill somebody, and I'm going to say this the way that I want to say it, send them to prison, because if you carry a gun and you ain't licensed to carry, you ain't got no business with a gun. And the thing that just happened the other day was an accident, but I asked myself, why did they have a the gun in the first place? And I can only say I'm sorry for the victim, and I'm sorry for the dude that shot him, because I know he had no intentions on killing his best friend, but he ruined his life. But DJ, give that kid a break, because he might be just like me. Take over that case. Let that boy do five years in prison, because he had no intentions on killing that boy. And this is God through me talking to you. Give him a break, OK? Thank y'all for the award. Thank you, and good night. We love you.